welcome back to an early morning episode of Fisherman Dean Bass. Yeah, it's cold. I got the full mask on, got gloves, got my ice suit. Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> you guys can see here, we're out on the river doing some walleye fishing again. We have about six hours to play around because the wind's supposed to pick up to like 15 to 20 later, around like 11 to 12 o'clock. Right now it's seven, so maybe not even. We're gonna go and try to search and destroy and find some fish for you guys. My combo choice of today is that Vexen walleye rod with my piece of fun carbon next 2000. The seven foot, I got the fly tight on. So let's go play around first, mess around, figure something out and hopefully we get a keeper today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I already appreciate you guys for watching. So stick around, let's have some fun. I'll see you guys ready on the water. All right, let's get to work, guys. We gotta get to work because we don't have much time. Piece of Fun 1000, Carbon X, as you already know, with the Vexen Walleye Raw 6.6, medium light, fast action. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna start off with minnows. Hey, my battery's dead. What the heck? What? Whoa, look at all those fish on the right side. That's probably a carp. How the battery died already. Well, we definitely got to use it up now because my ear already just, I think I left it on all night. So that, that kind of sucks. Yep, just like that. Yeah, this one is pushing us pretty quick. Got to get one on. I don't know if it's going to cut it, but it doesn't hurt to check. It's a much better fish, that's for sure. It's not going to cut it though, but it is a better fish. Wow, yeah, it's not gonna cut it. I know 18 when I see one, but this is a good uh, 16. I'll show it to you guys too. On that purple fly, I'll show you guys. Yep, 16 is that. Damn, I'm just texting. I'm getting them. The heck? Oh, guy. Super dinky guy. Oh my god, you freaking inhaled it, bro. Jeez. Gotta get my pliers out. Where is it? Uh, I don't know where my plier is. There's a few of them in there, that's for sure. So, here's the secret Caden, okay? The secret Caden to pumping flies. Make a cast out. Don't be too crazy with it, all right? You're already on the boat, you don't gotta cast too far. Just, you know, stay away from the shore people, obviously. Um, what you wanna do, you wanna let that sinker hit the bottom. I'm using a one ounce sinker. Uh, current is decent, it's not too crazy. You get away with three quarters too, but one ounce is always like my go-to. I'm fishing this off of 10 pound braid, eight pound floral, because it is shallower, all right? All I'm doing, you see my Katie's here, I'm just letting it sit at the bottom and then check up on it here and there, all right? So a lot of people, they tend to twist too much, all right? Remember, your fly is still floating in there. Your fly is naturally like hanging in the water column. So you want to make it look as natural as possible, right? Just switch your hand there, you know? Almost as if you're like, it's not even like a snap jig, all right? It's more like a lift, lift, kind of like that, okay? You can add a little snap to it, I guess, if you want to. Wouldn't be fancy, but overall, 
I don't think I ever try to overdo my, my cadence. You want to leave it in there. You're already on the boat. Remember that you're already on the boat. You're parallel with the current, right? With the river. And you're just going to leave it in there. Leave it in there as long as you can. Just check up on it. Twitch it. And bring it. Just wait for it. That's it. You know? Like I said, the water's still cold. So you want to be patient. I see a lot of guys on the boat, man. They, they overcast. They overdo it. Yeah, they're just overdoing everything. But me... If you're patient, let your fly sail like that. Man, it's super deadly. It works so well. All right. So we're going to reposition here. Might have to put on my bib, guys. It's kind of windy today. Not windy, but there's like a cool breeze kicking in. It's pretty wild. Got him. That's a big one, dude. Yep, right next to the boat. Thing's big, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he snagged himself. <sighs> he snagged himself. <laughs> dude, you came backward. I thought you were huge. See that? Sometimes they circle and they snag himself. Another one. <laughs> Little guy. Tiny dude. Little dude. Lots of them. Bro, really? It's getting pretty cold. I'm gonna put on my bib, go suck it up in the wind. Cause that's where they're biting. Coming over here, like it was good, but it's not the right position. And when you're puffing flies, it's all about the right position, guys. And there's no better ice suit than the freaking cold snap. Cold snap's nice. Little guy, lots of little guys. Oh, it's a white bass, bro. <laughs> I got a white bass. What the heck? Toss that water, you're fighting pretty hard. Yeah, that's a good sign. We got a white bass, nice. Better fish. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish.
Dude, that's a big one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, what the freak? Nice. On the freaking fly. Yep, we got it. 18 and a half. Yep, 18 and a half. <laughs> God, bro. Finally, my goodness. I can see but there you go nice little fish I'll say 18 and a half just a little over so we got lucky it's a good eats finally <laughs> after how many little ones only well, we got a decent one for you guys so hit on that green and red fly in like 12 feet of water oh so much work it's gonna be delicious here's an update it got windy as we predicted this morning uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's kicking, it's, it's kicking in. <laughs> it's definitely windier and colder, right? It's like a cold snap that came through. Um, we're going to fish for like another 30 minute and see what happens. Got him. Man, these walleye rods are amazing. I love it. It's so fun fighting with it too. Right. I got one. Yeah. This rod is so much fun. It's a sauger, that's why.